difference between tab stops and indents. We'll first start with tab stops. If I'm ever asked to insert tab stops for data, we need to insert those by using this little tab stop button and the, the ruler. If I need to insert tab stops for this data, a left tab stop at one and a half and a right tab stop at three and a half, this is how we do that. I set my tab stop to left tab, I scroll over to the ruler, I put on a tab at one and a half, then I select my tab stop to a right tab stop, I put that on my ruler at three and a half. If you notice, nothing happens to my data. I need to insert tabs using the keyboard. So if I click before years and hit the tab key, it's going to move my data up to the left first tab stop that I created. I'll do this for the rest. And then for my second tab stop, I need to insert a tab before the rest of my data, and that will align it to the right tab stop side. If I need to move these, all I have to do is highlight my data. I can click on the tab stop and drag it, and it will move my tab data. If I ever wind up with extra tab stops up here, which occasionally happens, the way to remove those, and the best way to do, is go to Format, Tabs. You see all your numbers here? You want to click Clear All, then click OK. Then your tab stops have disappeared. The best bet is to do is now create them all over again. But you will have your tabs already entered before your data. So if you have to go back, you have to remove your tabs that you entered. Those are tab stops. Indents are completely different. Indents are these little gray boxes and squares along the ruler. If I am asked to indent a paragraph in from the left side one inch and from the right side one inch, I would highlight my paragraph, go up to my indent slider. If I have to indent the whole paragraph, I grab the bottom square, click, drag to the one inch. It will move all of my data to the one inch. And one inch from the right side is over here. If I click and drag that, that brings it to the five. And that will narrow your data in. If I was asked to only indent the first line one inch, that would be just your little triangle right here just the top, you click and drag that into the one inch. If you get messed up with your tabs and you already have the top one moved, if you move your bottom one, it's going to move the top also. The best way to fix these is click and always reset everything back to the zero mark on the ruler, then go ahead and fix it. Once again, the little black things on the ruler clicked are tabs, the gray sliders, are indents, two completely different things.